Hi guys, welcome back to the Totally Magic channel here at YouTube. If you've never been here before and you just popped along to see what's going on, then please consider hitting the subscribe button and also the little bell next to it because then you'll be notified every time we upload a new trick. Today's magic is all around this, the mind, because we're gonna do a mind reading card trick. Now you have a deck of cards that you say, shuffle, examine, and the spectator can go through, look through, check them, and shuffle the whole pack. This is a genuine shuffle. Happy with that. Now you've shuffled these, neither of us know the order of the cards. We don't know what the top card is, or the next one, but as we go through the cards, you can see they're in a pretty much random order. Now, why am I showing cards? Because in a moment, what I'm gonna get you to do is to mentally select a card. You see, everybody has this ability to take a snapshot, just like your smartphone, your digital camera, we have one built in, our mind. We can take a snapshot of a moment in time. And that's what you're going to do. You see, I'm going to show you cards one at a time. So if I show you a card, I want you to concentrate on that card. And if you like it, snapshot it in your mind. Remember it. OK, but I'm going to put it back, but not where it came from. We'll actually shuffle it so we lose it. Don't tell me which one you're thinking of. As I go through the cards, we we'll just shuffle them and move on to the next one. Okay, concentrate on one of those particular cards. Have you got one? You haven't, okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna go through showing you each card in turn and just take that mental image of the card that you see. Yeah. Have you got one now? You have. Okay. Now you shuffled these to begin with. We shuffled them throughout. The random card, keep it in your head. Keep repeating the name of it in your mind. You see, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give you half the cards because I want you to find your card in there. Shuffle the cards up and the spectator can shuffle these and look for your card. Now you can deal them up one at a time or you can get the spectator just to spread the cards to have a look. Now they will look through there and say, I can't find my card. It's not there. Okay, well what if I give you some more cards? Have a look through those. Once again, the spectator is gonna look through each and every card on there. So make sure that they thoroughly examine the cards as you're going through. Now they will say, it's not there. Now, could it possibly be among the cards I'm holding? Have a look. Now you hand these to them, and once again, they can go through the cards one at a time to look for their card. It's not there. Now the strange thing is, is that you say the card that you haven't told me about yet, that's still in your mind, the snapshot you took, you can't see it anywhere here. The amazing thing is, is I've got, in one of my pockets, my wallet. Now, before I came here today, I picked out a card physically and I put it in here. There's only one card in my wallet and you can examine this afterwards. Now, it seems impossible, it really does, but what did you say your card was? The Two of Spades. You see, that is exactly the card that I removed earlier. Not only a great mind reading trick, but an impossible transposition.
So here's the secret to this great mind reading card trick. Now the method is very clever and it's very sneaky, but it is one of those tricks, I'll be honest with you, that as a magician you think, is it really gonna work that well? But trust me, when you perform this to friends and family, they will love this because they go away thinking, how did he know not only the card I thought of, but managed to find it? That's it. The other thing I will just mention, this has multiple outs. So there might be an occasion when you decide not to use this. By the way, the outs are your choice, not theirs. I'll explain. First of all, the cards, they're regular. You can do this impromptu. There's no setup involved whatsoever. They shuffle the cards and examine them. Now, it's very sneaky because the spectator is only ever gonna get a choice of three playing cards, okay? That's the fact of the matter, only three cards. And I know what you're thinking, well, no, you showed us a lot more than that. Yeah, that's the sneaky part of it. When I say they have a choice of three cards in stages, you'll show them three cards and then another three cards and another three cards. That's the secret behind it. Let me explain. So they shuffle the cards. Now, did you notice that at the start of the routine, while I was waffling on about cameras and smartphones and snapshots in your mind, all that rubbish, I was showing cards to them in this way. And the reason being is because subconsciously, they see that you're holding up cards, but remember, at the start, they didn't know what I was gonna be doing. So they wasn't remembering any of these. What I was doing is that trying to get it to be that when they go to tell their friends about the trick afterwards, whether it's a week or two weeks down the line, they'll be saying, oh, he showed me lots of cards and I just thought of one. No, I only showed you three that I was interested in. That's the reality of it. So while you're talking, show the cards to give the illusion that you're showing them lots of cards. Then pause for a little while and then go into the routine and begin showing and saying, I want you to remember one of these cards. Now the trick starts. This is card number one. Now they do get a free choice, but the secret is how you shuffle them. Let me explain. I show them the first card. I put it back on top and I shuffle the cards, but I'm gonna do a false shuffle because I need to get this to the bottom. So as most of you will know, you just put a bit of pressure with your thumb on the face card, on the top card, shall I say, shuffle it to the bottom, do a regular shuffle. That first card is at the bottom. You then show the second card, okay? Then you put that to the top and you shuffle that, but this time, this has got to get to the back. You're gonna keep the pressure on the bottom card. That's the first card that they looked at. And you slide this off again. Look at that, you can see that. So the two cards remain at the bottom. Shuffle as normal. And then the third card, you show them. Now they could choose any one of these. Well, let's say they went for the two of diamonds. That was the second card, the two of diamonds. Show this. I then do exactly the same shuffle. I slide the top and bottom card off. And then I drop the pack momentarily on there and then pick up half the cards and do a regular shuffle. And when I do this shuffle, I say to them, have you got one yet? Now, although I've only shown three cards, because I showed all those ones at the start, they seem to think they saw more than three. It's a great effect. Now, at this stage, all three cards are at the bottom. 
okay so all three cards are at the bottom here there's the first card there's the second card and there's the third card you show them now when you do that last shuffle if they say no i haven't picked one yet you ignore those and you carry on and you repeat exactly the same shuffle moves for the next three cards it's always in blocks of three trust me because you're holding them up slowly and deliberately for them to take a snapshot, they get bored. Normally, they pick in the first three. If they don't, they definitely do it in the next three. They're not gonna hang around too long. Let's say that they say, yes, I've, I've got one in my head. Now, all I do is I get a break under the bottom card, okay? And remember, at this point, Nobody knows what's coming next, so I will just uh, gesture with the cards. What I'm doing is I'm glimpsing the bottom card, the Four of Hearts, okay? Now, all I do is I just cut off half the pack, momentarily put them to the bottom because I'm gonna drop or take that Four of Hearts in there, and I just say, take the cards and shuffle them. They take half the cards and shuffle. Now, what if they had chosen the four of hearts? I know that that's the card in there. So as they go through, if they happen to say, yes, it's there, I say to them, well, don't tell me what the card is. Don't move it or anything like that. You've shuffled it. And then you can go into the revelation. Because I know it's a four of hearts, I can read their mind, give it all the, you know, clever acting and saying I'm reaching out it's a red card it's a low card it's a romantic card the four of hearts that's the end of the trick how good is that you've read their mind how could you possibly know that their card was in there how could you possibly know it so that's one ending but as in the routine that I showed you it wasn't in there so you know it wasn't that. So you know it's got to be one of these other two cards. I repeat exactly the same. Don't forget this getting a break under the bottom card. They're busy looking for their card. You've got plenty of misdirection to get a break. If they say no, it's not there. I cut half the cards again and repeat exactly the same move. I drop this card. I've already glimpsed it, okay? Again, you've got plenty of time to glimpse that card, the five of clubs. I do the same again. I hand the cards to them and I say to them, okay, mix those up, have a look at them. Is it among those? Now, if they say, yes, it is, once again, you know what the card is they're thinking of, the five of clubs. Do your acting skills again and reveal the five of clubs. Now, while they're looking, I'm preparing the next card. Now, I can look at this. I can see that it's the two of diamonds. Okay. Now, at this stage, you can do whatever you want. Okay. Let me show you. I can get a break and I can palm this off. Yeah, that easy. Remember, there's no heat here. They're not looking here. They're looking here. You've handed them the cards. As soon as you've handed them, do the move. That's it. I've got the card in my pocket. You could put this on a card box, under the card box. Plenty of time because nobody is looking. Trust me. If you don't want to do that, your confidence is that you think there's too many people, I won't get away with palming that and sneaking it somewhere. So you might want to just leave it there. You know it's on the bottom. You can then reveal it anyhow you like. That's how simple it is. Now, how did I get it into the wallet? Well, the wallet is in my pocket if I want to end this way. Remember, I may not use this because if they said their card was here, you reveal it there, or when they said it's there. So there's three out possible outcomes. So with this one, when I palmed it off, 
In my wallet, I've got some business cards. And all I do is I leave these sticking out like that. Look at that. This goes in my back pocket so that when I palm this, as I push it in, it goes straight in. And I push those in, in my pocket. That way, when I open up the wallet and reveal what's inside, it's the card. But I'm sure a lot of you magicians out there already own a, a, a quick loading wallet or envelope or whatever. But as I said, you don't really need this for your performance. You can just reveal it. And as I said, because it's impromptu, it's a great little effect. I hope that made sense and that you can work on this, have a little play around, but it is a clever way of knowing what people are thinking because you narrow it down to just three playing cards. Okay, and once you've got those three cards at the bottom, you can do whatever you like, okay? Reveal in any way. Listen guys, as always, these videos are here just to give you an idea. Hopefully you can elaborate and change this effect to suit your own presentation style. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget, leave us some comments down below. Give us a thumbs up, share it if you can, subscribe, etc. Till next time, take care.